Welcome to the gameplay demo walkthrough of CD Projekt Red's upcoming title, Cyberpunk 2077, a narrative-driven, open-world RPG set in a dark version of the future. Before we start, a small but important disclaimer. The gameplay you're about to see is from a work-in-progress version of the game. Everything you see is potentially subject to change. In Cyberpunk 2077, you can fully customize your character using a deep customization system. For this demo, we're going to play a female. Keep in mind that what you see here is not final. We just want to give you a glimpse of what will be possible in the released game. This is an RPG, so before we get into our appearance, we need to define our backstory. What you choose here will unlock different possibilities later in the game. Also, you can use an array of different options to modify how you look. These include body type, hairstyle, tattoos, makeup, skin tone, and many, many more. But visuals aren't everything. You'll also be able to customize your initial attribute setup. You'll notice we didn't pick a class. Cyberpunk 2077 features a fluid class system, and you'll be able to modify your class throughout the game. This demo takes place near the beginning of the game. V and her friend Jackie, along with a netrunner named Tiba, are hired to find and retrieve a missing person, a girl whose locator implant went dark. All is clear. Go. Cyberpunk 2077 is a first-person role-playing game. This perspective enables us to maximize your immersion. Should have full access in 2.8 seconds. Reached it. Your turn. What I lay, lead the way I know. Alarm neutralized. Room's too simple. Not our girl, I think. Keep looking. It looks like these scavengers are kidnapping people to harvest their implants. Okay, things are about to get heated. We'll take a reflex booster that temporarily allows us to use the Kereznikov ability. This is Kereznikov. into Biomon. Sandra Dorset, NC-570442. Got a winner. Well, she will be if we can get her to a hospital. Sheesh. Trauma team Platinum, too. Platinum? Shit. TT should have swooped in if she sneezed. Something's jamming the Biomon signal. Talk to me, T-Bug. Virus, probably. Locator neurosocket. Should be a shard slotted in. Shit's probably on that. 
we clear it, free up the signal, TT could actually drop in, take her off our hands. Got the shard. Removing it now. Done. Let me check the lab again. An emergency evacuation unit has been dispatched and is due to arrive at your location in 180 seconds. Biomon claims trauma all here in three minutes. Like the fucking cavalry. <laughs> Let's get her out of here. Your premium plan will cover 90% of the projected costs of your rest. <laughs> Yeah, that's just flatlining! V, you need to know what's going on. Jackie, air hypo! Can't, China! <sighs> She's stable. <sighs> Where are China? Get her outside. I'll cover you. It turns out a virus disrupted the girl's locator implant. We fixed that, and now help is inbound. Swarm of the sons of bitches, two vans full, just pulled up outside. That was trauma. A kind of high-end premium medical insurance. Not much time for what Buck said. We've delivered the target, and T Buck has notified us that the scavengers have called in reinforcements. Let's get out of here before they arrive. I got the eddies for new wheels now. I had something real fine too. How about you, Aina? Probably blow it all on booze in three days. Talking about somebody else, Jack. People live in a content of combat. Cyberpunk is a mature, visceral experience, and as such, it will let you explore a variety of different interactions with the game world, and as you just saw, it's people. The job was a success, and V obviously has some money to burn. V, look, I need to talk to you. That noise is as big as my balls. And I got a hot date with my Ripper Doc. Come on, I now make the Doc wait. Pull some pants on your culo and get down here. Subway entrance and bring your iron. Okay, Jackie has just told us that he has some big news for us. And we have an appointment with our Ripper Doc. Before we leave, let's take a good look around our apartment. Good morning, Night City. The song on the radio is by rocker boy Johnny Silver. It's part of our creative process to draw inspiration from the pen and paper system, created by Mike Pondsmith, and to put our own 2077 spin on it. Let's go grab our geek. Okay, we'll take these trusty pistols. and also grab our jacket. Since Cyberpunk 2077 is an RPG, the jacket not only provides us with protective stats like armor, but it also increases our street cred. Street cred is a form of experience the player acquires by completing side missions. It is used to unlock new vendors and content throughout Night City. 
All right, let's go meet Jack. V's current apartment is located inside a mega building, a huge building complex that forms a micro society of its own. In this timeline, technology and the world have evolved in some ways that seem familiar, but entirely surprising in others. As an example, in this world, people pay with eddies, slang for euro dollars. We make sure to root every detail in the world's lore, so everything has its purpose and stays believable. A big part of our RPG experience is having a world that is interactive. Here, a generic ad has morphed into an advertisement specifically tailored to V, informing her of the nearest vendor she can purchase the product. In this case, it shows us where to find some Nicola soda. This is Wilson, one of Night City's many gunsmiths. We won't be checking his wares today, but you can purchase and upgrade your weapons and gear throughout the city. Cyberpunk 2077 is set in Night City, a bustling metropolis located on the coast of the free state of North California. It's a dystopian city where violence and oppression are the norm. We are working hard to make Night City a fully realized, seamless open world with no loading screens. Currently, we're in Watson, a former industrial district where crime now mixes with money. Signal gone down three times. Three times, yo! The piece of shit. Now give me back my eddies. Silverhand's debut album, that. Now I'll never sit down and ask me. Could be some truth to that. We've greatly enhanced our crowd and community system to create the most believable city in any open world game to date. The city's streets are bustling with crowds of people from all facets of life, all living their lives within a full day and night cycle. Okay, there's Jack. Fucking finally. Buckle up. Shit's happening. What's up, Jack? Dexter Deshaun. Huh? Sound familiar? Who wants to talk to you? One of Night City's top fixers, eh? Okay, you see that caddy? Need to walk on over there and get us a job, I know. <laughs> It turns out we've caught the attention of one of Night City's biggest players, Dexter Deshaun, a fixer, a person who gets things done. He wants to meet up and discuss a job. Get it. Let's see what he has for us. Yo, Miss V, a pleasure. Let's roll. Scanning a serious job just now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scaffold. You interested? Interested, sure. Tell me more. Well, glad to hear. Before we get started on this, though, I need to be sure. Sure you all right. All right. And the nature of this test? Start of the show. See, got a classic tale for you. 
Psycho gang, just doing his thing. Jumped a corp convoy. Got away with gear. Now I need me that little combat bot. They call it the flathead. Of course, I got the eddies to buy it, but me and the Maelstrom boys ain't the best of friends. No flow to our convoy, we see. Who's the woman? Corporal agent. She's on the hunt for the dogs who sold the Gangoon's info on the convoy. Got herself a prisoner. Her chief suspect, most likely. Going on 20 hours since the convoy was jumped, and she still don't have any good to party. Gotta be desperate by now. Be wise to think how you could use that. Got any questions for me? We're on it all, I think. Time I got to work. Beautiful. Here's hoping my inkling checks out. So, see you at the afterlife soon as the job's done. Do good, and this will be the start of a beautiful friendship based on the heaps of eddies. It seems Dexter has given us a test of sorts to see if we're worthy. He wants us to retrieve a piece of high-tech combat gear, a local gang stole from the Militech Mega. We'll be able to approach this job from a variety of angles. Let's try calling the Militech contact to see where that leads. Stout here. Hi. Um, heard you were looking for some tech. Let's talk. Hey, everybody shut it! Where is it? Come on, spell! On the horn? No. Amateur hour. Jesus. First exit off Skyline going towards the NIT. Storm channel under the overpass. Meet you there. The situation's tricky because the contract giver is a corporate agent who seems a little high strung. Before we get down to business, it's a great idea to visit our river dock. Crime is a common occurrence. Night City is not a safe place. Life here is not easy. A Ripper Doc clinic. Ripper Docs are specialist vendors who offer people the possibility to install or upgrade their cyberware. Vicky, as bright as ever, you old Ripper. Her name is Patsy's on the chance, coming in with a couple of bucks. Gain in the upper hand pretty darn quickly. Need to bump up my specs and get a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit just got real. Hit in the major leagues. Got a job from Dex to Sean. The Dexter Deshaun? Yeah, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later. With interest. You know I will. Last time, I swear. Now sit. about right under the circumstances. Now jack in. You peruse and choose while I scan. This is what's going on inside. We're going to install both an optical scanner. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. And a subdermal weapon grip. Link's not labeled. 
to be perfectly honest, not entirely sure where the hell I got it. Still, looks like it'll talk to Karoshi Tech. <sighs> I'm ready. Carve away. Okay, all clean. Now for the fun stuff. Major League on yours right here. Just like that. Thanks. Now a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Doc. Play by play. Makes you sound like a dentist. They're always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember. I'm old. I got a shaky, gannic hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? Good. So let's test it. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort. Maybe blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Good luck to you. With the scanner, we can zoom in on things and take a closer look. Oh, this is fantastic. Beautiful. Time for the scanner. Additionally, we can analyze objects, get details on enemy weak points or gang affiliation. It might take you a while to adjust. Processes, read your intentions. That <laughs> ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new site. The subdermal weapon grip links to our scanner and shows us weapon information like ammo count and fire modes. It also increases the base damage on all connected weapons. Shit, Victor. Not bad. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. Thanks again. You're the best, Vic. Go on, kid. Show them what you can do. And once you hit the big time, don't forget where you came from. While some Ripper docks operate legally, Others provide black market services. For the right price, they can even offer to install illegal, military-grade cyberware. Left a few minutes ago. Said he'd wait outside. Well, well, Hiroshi. Vic's got a soft spot for you, Heine. Come on, how about you use them fancy-ass optics to scan my new wheels? Sure, but you'll have to let me take it for a spin. Hey, just watch the paint job. Guy looks an awful lot like one of those scavengers we took out earlier. Something tells me there wasn't no coincidence, huh? Jackie's car is a super powered sports car running on Chew 2 the super fuel of the future. Players can explore Night City freely, in many different cars, on bikes, and in other types of fields. This does not look good. Puta madre! Grab the wheel, Jack! Oh, fuck! 
It looks like the scavengers from earlier are still angry. They're pulling ahead, I know. Watch it up. We got rid of him. That was intense. Ah! Shit! The fuck was that? The devils. Night City never sleeps. Danger lurks around every corner, even in daytime. Random encounters like these are an example of how your actions directly influence your open world experience. Let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, Jackie. So, think they're done riding our asses? Scavs? Sure, maybe. Should be looking for a new spot to slice and dice, not gunning after us. But who knows? Real messed up in there, those cars. Saw it yourself. Many forces are fighting for control of Night City, but the mega corporations are the real showrunners. The agent we're going to meet represents Militech, one of the largest companies in the private military sector. Why are we stopping? Remember the corpo off Dex's shard? Ranger, she's in the area, look at me. Let me guess. She's in hot corpo water. Desperate. Then you think you can use that? See if I can, yeah. Since Cyberpunk 2077 is an RPG, preparation will...